<laughs> what up everybody back with another herbal reactions of course and um yeah you know what it is man we're about to watch another episode of our favorite show right now you know outlander <laughs> we're going going in on the outlander right now i'm on page i'm on chapter two you know what i'm saying i'm on chapter two so i've been reading a little bit i'm gonna have to i'm gonna do this like every time i watch uh outlander it's like i'm gonna uh, keep myself accountable uh of course y'all already know if y'all want to support the channel y'all can always get the book and hop right into it right now maybe our only chance i must take it Where's my song, though? Damn. No more wind again? Like, that sucks. Or this the pers- Uh, per- Uh, can't talk. What dealings of you? Perspective of them before they left. His hips, clothes, lavender. An orange feel. Typical Bury for Mosley. May surprise you, me lord, but her cabin is beginning to smell like the ship's bilge. I thought it might impress her. Where do I get the feeling it's <laughs> trying to impress? Lord. Yeah. Yeah. She's moving away. Aye. They have Hell's own journey ahead of them. They have my wife. Why do we not follow? You, of course they got your wife. I mean, you watched her go over there. Hold up! They've taken clear. Set mainsail only, helm a lee, and aim south southwest. Hi, Captain. South southwest. That's not enough sail. It's all the sail we can safely carry in this wind. They're getting away, damn you! Ooh. The porpoise is carrying a hundred sick and more dying every day. Captain Leonard requires a surgeon for the duration and is making headway at full sail to ensure the shortest possible journey. He has promised to deliver her safely to us in Jamaica. And you agree to us. He conveyed a message to me. When the captain of 74 asks you for a surgeon, you give him a surgeon. I have more than your wife to think about, Mr. Fraser. My wife. Oh, God. My wife! Bruh. This is not the place to do it. Do all this. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do this. Tell your men to scabbard their blades. Do as he says, lads. Jamie. Just find man, you know you're gonna find your woman. I mean, like she came back from two twenty years. Give me insight of her man. In the future. We we'll sail at our own. I mean two hundred years in the future. I said twenty years in the future. Mr. Warren, restrain <laughs> Mr. Fraser and take him below. <laughs> mm. Mm mm. Jump off the boat. <laughs> he ain't that crazy. Sing me a song about I love this song. <laughs> Mary of soul, she Now I see what you was talking about. Yeah, I like the they brought the little uh, drums in there and shit, their little maracas and shit. <laughs> I 
really like that uh, intro. Not just the song, but like the intro, and they don't show like everything. They kind of just show bits and pieces of like, I don't know, little, uh, just little scenes. Not even like big scenes, just like scenes that people don't even really, they overlook. That's kind of cool. That's crazy. <laughs> More room to house the infected men. Once this deck is clean, the sick can convalesce here. Where will the rest of us sleep then? Everywhere else. We need to make use of every inch of space so that no man sleeps touching another one, sick or well. Every surface must be cleaned. better mr rowans nah you can touch the sick if necessary mr pound but when you're down here you must never touch your face or your hair or even your clothes not until you've washed your hands again okay okay <laughs> shit 14 14 what's your first Man. name if i may ask elias may i call you that 200 years separates them from very navy in public her place but from us it would be like what about like almost 300 years how long have you been at sea elias this is i was seven madam my uncle's the commander on triton which allowed me a berth in her i joined the paupers just for this voyage alone you are a very impressive young man That's Jim Quigley, madam. He's a friend. We're from the same town. Uh. Three more have come down with it, madam. Can you put them over there? <laughs> Man, at 14, seeing your old friend die. That's probably his first time seeing someone die. Or, well, he didn't see him die, but seeing a dead body. <laughs> if probably his first time. The surgeon's jump. Yes, sir. Had it transferred when he died. It's just here. I need to know the first reported case of the disease. Would have been four weeks ago. Here, Ben Cole. Cool. Reported sick this morning. Headache, bellyache, dry cough, persistent fever. Stephen Corey, same. Men are still dying. Well, they're dying because the source of the disease is serving the food. Wow. Captain, I'll not give up my one remaining galley hand on account of a cursed woman's foolish notion. And it's not cursed. Really? A man is either sick or well, as anyone can see. Just because it's beyond our comprehension, Cosworth, doesn't make it less voracious. We must believe her. Master at arms. Take this man into custody. What have I done? It's not to punish you, Howard. Only to keep the men safe. You had better be right about this, Mistress Fraser. I know that's right. She hasn't been wrong much, but when she has been wrong, it really didn't uh, end well for her. 
I mean, I mean, she's still alive, obviously, but still. Five minutes. How are you, the goat? It's very close in there, no? I'm well acquainted with the inside of a cell, I guess. So, not a floating one. The lady will be safe, my lord. I'm sure of it. You told me it's impossible for her to get the disease, no? There's more than disease aboard that ship, lad. Oh, no. Uh, I didn't even think of that, man. I was just thinking about they just, uh, they need some health, you know. But that is true. I lost her once, Argus. Can't lose her again. Give me the keys. It can't work, my lord. The crew are not yours. They will not follow you. Some will. Me and Gerard have long been in Jared's service. We'll have, we'll uh, you, you, you basing this off a hunch, basically. Manzetti will come our way. <clears throat> Others do. But the porpoise is a day ahead of us. We cannot catch them. They will abandon Jared's wine. An empty ship runs faster. Catch the poor person, and then what? And then again. You don't know, but you want to do this. Mm. Okay, all right, do it. No. I love her too, Lord, but what good are you, you damn fool? Ooh, that's not what you're supposed to say. It's right to withhold my blessing from you. Proves you that I can what love is. He don't. He's just mad. How can you say that? Because if you did, you would move heaven and earth. You would risk arrest. He ain't lying. He is. Man, he isn't lying, bro. Like, bro, this dude. You don't know what love is. <laughs> you would do it as easily as prick of a pen. It set me free from the cell. Help me rescue the woman I love from our kidnappers. Till you risk all you kind of speak of love. Whew. Get me those keys. Help me break free, and I will give you my blessing to marry Marsley. That that's kind of bribery, but uh. I guess it's, I guess it's good enough for him. Hmm. I wonder how many bodies people could find at the bottom of the ocean. Bitch must go through his nose, madam. To be sure he's dead. Assuming that the bones are still there, you know, I don't know any fish that eat bones, but you know, I don't know. Some type of bacteria breaks it down. Don't prick yourself now. Nah. He'll be expecting you. I don't like. Obviously. I don't trust you either. I have the captain. Uh huh. And I'll know why you are here. Well, you may have his interest. No such thing. And who do you think he'll believe? No, he'll have you arrested so quick your head will. Get away from her. My way. Or I will scream. Honestly, you should scream right now. 
Just do it. Shoot, I ought to uh, ask him where the captain was. <clears throat> you was looking for the captain. The cook and his suspicions were the least of my worries. Someone on this ship had recognized Jamie. I had to find this Harry Tompkins. Well, damn. You'll love us to marry. If I break him loose, you know. the prosthetics on that is crazy, bro. And if you fail, oh God. Then I will join the Lord in chains. It's a risk, Mika, but one I'm willing to take to be with you. I like the metal hand. <laughs> you rest not theme on me at all. Kind of reminds me of uh, if y'all ever seen a Vampire in Brooklyn. The one dude had the little hand he took off. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. I was about to y'all ain't married. On top of tanks and the women of his is on some other ship. No one is keeping an eye on us. If you have noticed, I'm with you. I'm about to rescue your life. No. Might be our only chance. We, we must have. wait until we're married. I promise the Lord. And there's true hope for us now. Hmm. Uh, people don't know how to do that. People do not know how to keep their word, bruh. So, people's words nowadays don't have no weight to them. Just <laughs> in the wind. <coughs> Johansson's husband is improving. Good. Have you slept yet? You know, you can sit down. It is all right. Elias, do you know a sailor on board named Harry Tompkins? No. But then I wouldn't know every name. We were 400 strong when we began. 400. I see. On one ship? Oh, my Lord, bro thought finding a carrier would have ended it. Well, there is the incubation period to consider. Madam? The reason I asked about Tompkins, he may be a... Put me out of my misery! Maybe I will. My husband can't get arrested on the captain's words alone. Nor Sir Percival's. Oh. They have your husband now, madam. And warrants for his arrest for murder and high treason. Murder? It's what we found the day before the press gang got me. In a cask of creme de monts, it was. Oh, now y'all doing flashbacks. Oh, the, that, 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 that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Report as soon as we land in Jamaica. Well, I'll talk him out of it. Captain Leonard's an ambitious man. He wants the Admiral to give him command of his own ship, you see. Little chance. Wow. Brings in a wanted seditioner. It just 
mind. I'll wager they'll not be talked out of that. The authorities will be waiting for your husband when he comes to fetch you in Kingston. And then he'll be hanged. Well, I guess we're not going to um, Jamaica. He's the second source of the fever. Oh, really? Oh, this is a dangerous game you're playing, Claire. You know, I wouldn't get too close to Howard if I were you. Not unless you want to catch the disease. He actually is the source. I hear your husband is doing much better. Yeah, thank you. See, that makes so much more sense. Because I, I didn't even think of that. Having animals on the boat. Cheers. Goat. <laughs> See? I, like I said, I wouldn't. I don't know what you would take on a boat to go somewhere. It smells delicious. Oh, what? No, I'm, I'm all right. It's just... It's my husband. I'm afraid he's going to be in trouble when he arrives in Jamaica, and I have no way to warn him. In fact, I think they're going to try and use me as bait. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I help. How? How? You got a bird or something? I don't... Bro, how do you send a message from a boat? Grass. Not sure I know what you mean. Oh my goat snakes grass. Oh. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, thank you. Where do you get grass on a freaking boat, bro? <laughs> I am so confused. Didn't bring the keys. I do not have them. I lost too much. Ooh, ooh, man. Pleasant sound, isn't it? Silent. Aye. No moans, no groans for three days now. No one begging Christ's mercy for a quick death. Just sleeping men. Over the worst of it now. Yeah, and they're gonna have to let loose the what's the name guy. <sighs> Uh, what you gonna do? Better check on your uh, friend that gave you that uh, that foot. You know what? I will bring back a boom box. If I had, if I could go back in time, I would bring back a boom box and play the music of now. And see what people think. I'll have like a whole thing. I, I couldn't bring back like an iPhone or something like that. They Even having a uh, boom box would be crazy. See? 
See? Told you. Mother. Told you. It's a lapse. It's mother. Oh, that's nice. It's time for you to come home now. You're just gonna let him go like that? Damn. You ain't check on him for three days? Damn. I hate when I call it. I hate when I call it. You don't give away a rabbit's foot. You don't even touch a rabbit's foot. You just keep it where it is. Oh, now, now you're going to give it back? Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Just keep it. Now you're about to have bad luck. Your efforts have been heroic. There has been only one death today. Sad as it may be. And not one new case. We had three of each yesterday, more the day before. Doesn't matter. Persa tells me we're almost out of drinking water. And the sick simply can't survive without constant liquids. Say nothing of the healthy. You will do your best. And so shall I. And together we'll reach Jamaica safely. Good thing is that you are surrounded by water. Bad thing is... That water is... I don't even know how good that water is. <coughs> and I think it's salt water, actually. Mistress Fraser. Mistress Fraser. What is it? I've caught a whiff. Huh? Land. You can always smell it before you see it. Jamaica? No, madam. But we'll reach the Grand Turk in the forenoon tomorrow. We'll have water for the men. And grass. For my goats. I realized in that moment what Anna... Maybe you didn't get, uh, get bad luck. She could indeed help me escape and find Jamie. And now I understood how. Captain's orders to stay by the beach! Go. Now. One husband. I take care of him. I feel sick. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's time to go go. I hope you got all your shit. I mean, I if I was her, I would take everything. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. Relish the task, but I am duty bound to report your husband's crimes to the authorities in Jamaica. And to use me as bait? It would be breaking the law if I did not do it. Perhaps more importantly, I would break a solemn oath. Just please, can't you look the other way? Could you? Marines, kindly escort the doctor to the ship. She seems to have lost her way. Mm. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's the bad luck. <laughs> he thought you had the luck. No, you gave away the freaking. <laughs> the, the rabbit's foot. to be inside of land by dawn. What's 
have to do with me? Passage between the islands is hazardous all the way through. Mm-hmm. I need all good and able men and to navigate the shoals. So I'm good and able now, am I? What are you doing here? She's persuaded me you'll not rebel. Aye. Ask him to give you his word. What's that? I can't <laughs> jump in the ocean in the middle of the night. I'll drown. No, 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 not, not a drown. Not drown. I know water. Water, it'll move you. Huh? It'll take you, Coburn. Take you, Coburn. The ship's not far. Come. Go now. Go. Man. This is love women too, man. Men, th this dude went through some shit. Are you about to do this? What's up? <laughs> that is some cold ass water. I hear things. Your husband will hang. Now's only chance. Please. Mm, mm, she's helping you. She's helping you. What? Oh my lord. She's giving you everything. Oh, let's go. Let's go. gonna be cold <laughs> that's right there you go <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's crazy That was a great episode. <laughs> yeah. She she had to do what she had to do. I knew she was going to do the right thing. I knew she was going to do the right thing. Yeah. You know? Now she got to swim her ass all the way to the promised land. All the way to the promised land. James Fraser. How are you not about to get uh hung? How? How they're not about to hang you? That's a good question because I really don't know what they're going to do next. The next episode is called Un uncharted i wish they made a better uncharted movie uh but um let's see we got how many episodes left three more and then we in episode uh, we in in we in uh season four dang it's been a crazy journey i wonder how this is this season is gonna end <laughs> well i hope y'all liked the reaction if you did like and subscribe leave a comment tell me what you think of this episode tell me what you well, I'm, I have to stop wa saying that with these uh, episodes and shit because I know y'all want me to keep watching this. So I also was thinking about making a commentary on movies that I already seen. Either do it on this um, channel or make a whole different channel that just does like commentary. I think I could say some f funny things and also growth. Go. Th ah, I said grow. <laughs> go through the uh, times I what like my reaction the first time i've seen it and go through all the stuff like that i don't know yeah, tell me what you think but um yeah i hope y'all like the reaction of course and uh if y'all want to support the channel always can get my book and uh as always thanks for watching deuces